Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about Ceilings of Sound Pro Hyper EQ and exactly what a Hyper EQ is. Now I've heard a lot of people say, ah, oh, COS Pro, that's a matching EQ. <laughs> no, it is not. Although it resembles a matching EQ, it is in fact a conforming EQ. And what is the difference? Well, for anyone who has used a matching EQ, as many of us have, matching EQs can often make things sound worse because you can't just take a random spectrum line, match another random spectrum line, and expect great results every time. A conforming EQ creates a shape using noise ceilings, and noise, as we know, is perfect sound. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, just as the spectrum of light is perfect color, the spectrum of noise, white noise, pink noise, brown noise, is perfect sound. In fact, our entire industry is chasing noise. So by using noise ceilings to drive the equalization process, a conforming EQ will always just sound different regardless of the shape you create. Let's get into it. All right, so one of the things that makes Ceilings of Sound Pro a hyper EQ is also the fact that it is a spectrum analyzer on steroids. Okay, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, spectrum analyzers, nothing new. Uh, mix engineers, mastering engineers, they've been using them forever. Okay, and following noise on those, a noise slope on those uh, spectrum analyzers, that's nothing new either. And mix engineers, mastering engineers, they've been doing that forever. All right, so here we have a spectrum line. It happens to be a vocal, all right, on our spectrum analyzer. And let's uh, bring up a noise. Let's bring up a uh, minus four, five. Okay, boom. We're right where we need to be. All right, let's check it on our spectrum analyzer. If we brought up the noise, brown noise. All right, beautiful. Now, what if we wanted to check white noise for this is our chest, this is our the beginning of our throat, all right? We want to check that balance. All right, nice, nice, okay. Now, what if we wanted to check our roll-off? Let's go to 18. Let's go all the way up here. Okay, we can check that. Uh, nice, okay, right there. Are some of you starting to see already what COS Pro is? All right, so let's get rid of our guides. It's not hard to get your mind around. That's a spectrum analyzer. And, and following noise on a spectrum analyzer, this is noise, we're, and we're using noise to balance it because noise is perfect sound. This is noise balancing against noise. All right, so here's our ceiling line. There we go. White noise on a spectrum analyzer. This is our spectrum here. This is our noise. But what if we had two spectrum analyzers side by side? All right, well, we could check brown noise as well. What if we had three of them side by side? Okay, we just bring this up. All right, now what if we had four of them side by side and so on and so forth? Now, what if we had 15 of them side by side? There you go. We have 15 spectrum analyzers side by side doing something that is nothing new. Uh, using a spectrum analyzer to check your, your sound, your noise frequencies against noise but we have 15 of them side by side and there we go so this is perfect sound that's perfect sound that's perfect sound because these are all noise that we'd be doing but we use that to drive conform an eq all right so either a 31 band or a 50 band eq all right so we go you know what uh let's we want to do a little uh, carve out we want to change the sound up a little bit so let's go back to minus four five because we know that that's, you know, that's kind of where, remember that this was following brown noise, but we want this to follow uh, 4.5 all the way up to there. And we want to, you know what, we want to carve a little bit of this out. There we go. Right. And then from there, we want this to follow eh, pink noise. No, actually, we want it to follow 1.5. All right. Conform. We didn't even have to hear it. We know exactly where it is. Okay, so yeah, we want to, let's go back to brown noise. So again, just like you're, you're following, here's your guide. Like a, a mix engineer would be following, you know, brown noise on, the, on their spectrum analyzer. All right. 
And we're doing that, uh, carve that out. And we want this to pink. And you know what? We want a little bit more. We want it, boop, right there. Yeah. Boop. We're conforming. So we're using noise, perfect sound, to drive the EQ process. So remember that when COS Pro was first, in, uh, when I first created this, you can look at the extended, you can look at the V2. It was initially a guide, okay? Because it's the same process. You've got, uh, you could set up your, your ceiling shape, which is all created, which is created by noise. So perfect sound. And then you would use whatever equalizers you want, either your, your plugins or your, your hardware. So if you had an API board or, you know, you had a ghost board or whatever, you would use the EQs to make this line match that line. All right. If you're using your plugins, you could bring up whatever different plugins and then just sculpt them. Of course, you know, you wouldn't have the EQ here. And you would be using those EQs to make this line, this line right here, follow this line. All right. But what COS Pro does, a hyper EQ, it does that boop right there. Not only that, so that's how fast it is. So if you had created this, you go, man, I really like that. That's where I want it. That's you say that as a preset next time if you came up and let's say that your oh come on. All right, let's say that your EQ was like this, right? You know, that's what your EQ was, right? And you're like, man, that's what my sound is, but I want it to sound like that. All you have to do is go doink. And there you go. That's how fast and easy it is. And then from there, this is also why it's a spectrum analyzer on steroids. You'll notice that as we move our EQ, we're moving our spectrum. All right. We're actually moving our spectrum analyzer. Our spectrum analyzer itself is the EQ. So no matter how you use it, there's a lot of people like Corey Jacobs and there's a lot of people that they love to just kind of use it this way where they'll either, you know, bring up a ceiling or they'll say, you know what, I'm, I just, I just want to follow. Let's get rid of the ceiling here. Let's go back to reset ceiling. They go, I want to follow that, but you know what? I, I want to follow something different. I want it to be 4.5. And then they'll go and say, okay, you know what? Let's grab this right here. And I want that to be up like that and like there. And, you know, I want the whole thing to follow 4.5. So I'm going to bring this down here like that. All right. Boop. And now we're right where we want. This is a nice, like, for rock and stuff like that. You're going to be following min minus 4.5 all the way. It's more of a rock thing. If we want to drop this guy down, say, hey, you know what? I'm even going to use this guy. I want that. Boop. All right. And I want my chest to follow minus, or actually in this one to be plus uh, 1.5. All right. There you go. So now we've done what spec, what engineers, a uh, mix engineer uh, has done for, cent for, you know, not centuries, but for decades, forever. And we've done it without even hearing it. And we know that it's right. So if we, if we play it. Cargado por sueños se ven, manos fue de contra. After tremendo. There you go. Is it a match EQ? Hell no. Is it a conform EQ? Yes. Can you equalize perfectly in any environment? Yeah. Including silence? Yes. Do we condone that? No. Because the best way to work is, especially for those that are starting out, use COS Pro. It, it'll use your eyes. Well, now train your ears. Because you can see right where something is supposed to be. All right? All right. 
And so you'll place it there. And then as you're listening, you go, wow, okay, there it is. And now your ears will be getting used to how something should sound. So your eyes are now training your ears. It is a conform EQ, not a match EQ. It is the first EQ that you can actually equalize perfectly in any environment. If you're on a plane with earbuds, you can do that. If you're in absolute silence, you can do that. There you go. COS Pro, Hyper EQ. The most efficient EQ out there. It'll actually make all of your other EQs fun to use too because just make one line match the other line. Is it the future, future of EQ? <laughs> what do you think? Happy mixing. Sentado en un astronave, cargado por sueños.